Okay guys, welcome back to Cycle Every Day. Um, again, thank you for everyone who's subscribed, everyone who's liked the video so far. Uh, what I wanted to do today was just to kind of give you a kind of overview of what we do on a daily basis, just to kind of make sure the bike stays in, in its best conditions really. And also um, what we do once a week as well. So this is obviously anything mechanical. Um, quite easy, some of the easy things to do just by giving it a clean down. Um, and also just make sure that things work, like the brakes and things like that, and keeping them um, in working order. Now, before we do anything in terms of cleaning on the bike, um, what you'll find is, is what we find is underneath these mud guards, you get a lot of dirt build up. Now, the problem is, is now that winter's coming, um, when we go for a puddle, a lot of that falls out um, and messes everything up. So we get a load of like dead leaves and mud all over this bit here. And even worse on the back really. So you can see on the back all that dirt uh, inside the mud guard. Uh, and what happens is again, when we go through a puddle, all that dirt ends up on here. Uh, and then all over the back of the, the hub there and the back of the wheel. So what I'm gonna do, what I always do before doing anything else is using a paintbrush. Uh, just give it a wipe out. And we might be able to see some of the stuff. I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but see it coming out. Um, it's all just kind of like mud, dirt that we've had. Uh, just and this is literally just over over the last day or so. I mean, you can see it coming out here on the end of the bush. Um, but yeah, if we just keep going along, one way I always like to see if it's clean is basically if we look through here see um here these are clear um so it's actually clear you can see through uh, the mud guard on our bike um and basically if you just give it a kind of a you can see the, all the dirt coming out of it obviously if it's if you can't see through it then it's not clean um and there's just mud in there i mean is it the end of the world no but i just like to keep it clean okay uh, so that's why i'm just doing it um and again, we do it on the back. Uh, we can see here, for example, just give it a bit of a, a wipe out. And this, this brush isn't necessarily wet. It's literally just a, a dry paint brush that we don't use anymore. Or well, we never use, if I'm honest with you. You know, they don't cost much. Basically, just carry it on around here. Just get rid of most of it. I'm never going to get rid of it, all of it, unless I kind of give it a really good kind of spray wash. But I'm not too bothered as long as it gets rid of most of it, okay? So that's mostly done. I mean, you can see just from doing that, all this, all this mud that's come onto, onto the side of the bike, for example. And if I go through a lot of puddles along the canal, I get a lot of this. And if you just clean your bike, it just makes it a mess again. So that's why I always do that first. Um, and it's a quick way of getting rid of some dirt. Guys, we've, um, so now we've done the mud guards. Um, generally, every day, what I'll do is I'll give this bike a, a wipe over with a damp cloth, okay? I don't like getting the Brompton or any bike really wet. Uh, so when I'm washing it, it's not like a car. I don't brush it all off. Um, I'll just get use a damp cloth, wipe it over and then use a dry cloth and dry it off, okay? That, it's only really, a lot of this is just dirt, surface dirt. Um, so I'm just gonna do that now, and then we'll see uh, what, a big, what a difference this has made. Um, Okay guys, so that's kind of it really in terms of daily things. So just giving it a wipe over, the damp cloth, giving it dry off as well. Uh, you can see actually that it does get rid of uh, pretty much most of the mud. I mean, uh, you can see it was pretty dirty beforehand. Um, still a little bit of dirt which we can kind of get out. 
The reason why I haven't done that is because I'm going to actually clean the train today and show you how, what we do on every week. Uh, and uh, the bike's clean, and like I say, that's not what we normally do. Um, every every day is clean the bike, just give it a wipe over if it's wet, save it from going rusty uh, as much as possible. And then the chain and the brakes, I'll, I'll do the chain once a week on a Sunday night. Also pump the tyres up uh, to make sure they're uh, 100 psi. And then with the brakes, uh, do that maybe twice a week. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, just make sure that it works. Like I say, we use our bikes every day. Um, we rely on them a lot, or uh, you know, to go to work, go to school, go shopping. So you just need to make sure that they're kept, uh, kept, maintained, and, and they're, you know, they're going to be good to go straight away as soon as we need them. Um, but yeah, you know, hopefully you found this interesting. Hopefully you have found some of these little things that I do. Maybe have a go next time. Maybe you do them differently, and maybe you do it better than us. Like I say, this is just the way we do it. I'm not saying that other ways are wrong, but you know, it's good to kind of share ideas. So guys, if you if you do it differently to us, um, let us know in the comments. You know, drop a comment below. Let us know. Um, we'll have a go at doing that next time and see how how we find it. Um, but yeah, you know, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, put a like on on the uh, thumbs up, and you know, consider subscribing for more videos like this. And we'll catch you in the next one.